Hola amigos and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe. I'm posting regularly DIY projects, sewing and recycling projects. This video is all about this little cute bunny. Unfortunately, I lost the footage about how I'm making the clothes for it. Let me know in the comments if I should refilm it. And as always, I'm starting off with drafting my pattern. Here I'm cutting out the outline from the back part, which I will then also use uh, to copy the front part. The only difference is I'm adding a little extra so it can form the nose and the belly. Ultimately, this will give me two patterns, one for the front, which will be made of two pieces. So uh, it will have a seam in the middle and one for the back part, which will be seamless. I decided to go with this very nice organic cotton fabric because I think it uh, suits best the project. Next, I'm cutting out the pattern by adding also seam allowance to it. Here I'm trying to figure out the dimensions of the bunny ears, so how big they should be. For the ears, I decided to use two different materials. One, the cotton that I, that I was using for the body as well. And the other side, I decided to stick with a very smooth and velvety fabric. Here, already sewing the front part together and making some notches before I turn it uh, inside out. Uh, also, the ears will be sewn right in to, um, to the body and I'm filling it up with, um, with my filling just to see how it looks like and oh my gosh, it's so hideous. Oh, and this brings me back to my drawing board, uh, which is drafting again the pattern. So I'm making just some slight, um, well, slight bigger adjustments uh, just to get that weird shape out of the head. Here's my little fast forward of my thinking process. I also changed the shape of the ears and I made them slightly bigger. Here are all the pieces that I have to put together again. Starting with the front piece, I will sew the center seam, then the ears, the arms and the legs. Flip everything inside out. And before I attach the back part to the front, I'm sure to include the ears within the same seams. And now it's time to add in some filling into the arms and legs. And before adding any filling into the body, I am embroidering the eyes and the nose. Now that the bunny has got an actual face, I can start in putting the filling. Now 
So all I need to do now is closing it up by hand stitching and then attaching the arms. So here I'm using the seam from the legs. I'm attaching it uh, to the body and then I will hand stitch along the same seams. So I thought it would be really fun and nice if the arms could actually move and for that I decided to go um, with a button joint. I found this really good prepared tutorial from Wendy Gratz. I will link her video in the description and she's showing you step by step how to sew on a button joint. Smash the like button if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Here's our little bunny princess, isn't she cute? <laughs>